Hi, welcome to I Love the Library. I'm Mary Haney, Director of the Detroit Lakes Public Library, and I'm so excited to have you here with me today because we are looking forward into the future today. We are going to talk about books that are being made into movies and TV shows for 2019. You know, there are so many venues for movies and entertainment these days with Netflix and Hulu and Voodoo and Amazon all producing TV shows and movies for airing that you know what Hollywood has of course naturally turned to books which is a great thing and they've always done it but they're doing it even more now so first up is Where'd You Go Bernadette by Maria Semple is being made into a movie that will be released in 2019 starring Kate Blanchett and Kristen Wiig I believe Kate, Bl Kate Blanchett is playing Bernadette and Kristen Wiig is her daughter uh, after that another remake of Stephen King's Pet Cemetery scary movie scary book it's been a movie before Good Omens by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett is the one I am most looking forward to it is um, an TV adaptation for Amazon Prime I believe it will be a series not just a one-time show um, and if you haven't read Good Omens you really should it's called the funniest book about the apocalypse ever written and it is hilarious things just don't go as planned for either the forces of evil or the opposing forces of good so you'd have to read it and you really should read it before it comes to the movie um, it will be worth your time next is Artemis Fowl by Owen Colfer will be starring Josh Gad and Judy Dench along with a couple of young unknown actors one who of whom will be playing Artemis Fowl now Artemis Fowl is the story of a young master criminal I think he's about 11 12 years old and uh, he has discovered the book of fairy which gives him all the secrets to the underground magical people like fairies leprechauns uh, centaurs and things like that and he is using it to plan crimes so that's Artemis Fowl lots of fun a great book lots of kids have read that in the last oh 15 years since it came out and I think that will be a fun fun movie next is woman in the window by AJ Finn starring Amy Adams it's kind of a new fresh take of the old Alfred Hitchcock movie rear window woman looks out her window and thinks she sees a crime so and uh, another one coming up is The Rosie Project by Graham Simsian. I loved this book and if the movie is at all true to the book it's bound to be a very funny very quirky movie the main character is absolutely hilarious I think he's somebody we can all relate to in some ways um, it's due out in theaters in May and so of course you'll want to get the book from your local public library and read it before it comes out as a movie right uh, a very popular book from I think 2013 is The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. This movie version will star Nicole Kidman, Sarah Paulson, and Luke Wilson. So those of you who are big fans of The Goldfinch can look forward to that. And even if you haven't read the book and aren't a big fan yet, you have plenty of time to do so. Another remake is the classic Death on the Nile by Agatha Christie. This one will be starring Kenneth Branagh. If you've seen the movie version of Murder on the Orient Express with Kenneth Branagh, you know that if nothing else, the movie will be worth watching just to see that amazing mustache that Kenneth Branagh wears. It's, I, I think he calls it mustaches. So it's, it's the most amazing movie or TV mustache you'll ever see. Um, after that, Netflix is coming out with All the Bright Places. I believe that is a movie version, not a TV show or a serial show. All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven will be starring Dakota Fanning and Justice Smith. It's been in the last year or so another very popular teen romance novel, kind of along the lines of The Fault in Our Stars. Yes, there's tragedy in it. It's been wildly popular. It's the story of two teenagers who meet at their school's high bell tower, each one of them planning to jump. Well, they don't, at least not then. Uh, it's not exactly a cute way to meet in the movie rom-com tradition, but then this isn't exactly a comedy. Uh, Joseph Heller's Catch-22 will be a new series on Hulu starring George Clooney and Hugh Laurie. 
And then the long-running Broadway musical Cats, which is based on T.S. Eliot's Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats, will be coming to TV in 2019. It is slated to star, you'll never believe this, Taylor Swift, Jennifer Hudson, and James Corden. I wonder if James Corden will play the Rum Tum Tugger. You'll have to tune in to see. And of course, if you don't know who the Rum Tum Tugger is, you'll have to get the book and read it first. A new version of Jack London's classic book, Call of the Wild, is coming out. It includes Harrison Ford and Dan Stevens. And we'll end with one more movie version of Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. This one stars Emma Watson as Meg, Meryl Streep as Aunt March, and Timothy Chalamet as Laurie, the boy next door. Yeah, I think there have been about a billion um, remakes of Little Women, um, but maybe every generation needs their own. So those are Books into Movies and TV for 2019. Thanks for joining me. Here at TV3, we would like to thank Mary Haney for all she's done for the show I Love the Library and for her years of service at the Detroit Lakes Public Library. Make sure you check out her retirement party on January 18th.